Right. All right, class. So in today's uh, previous lecture, uh, we talked about the noise and electronic music and how um, listening to machine itself, how listening to a uh, basically an essence of electronics uh, makes us to think about the sound and the music in a different way, right? So uh, for me. Uh, the noise music is, is all about listening something that I'm not supposed to hear. Uh, listening to the noise, listening to the medium. And it reveals interesting things about the music. So, uh, as an experiment and as a demonstration, I want to show you basically the essence of what electronic music is, essence of audio. Right? It's all about sending an electricity right, to the speaker. Uh, through certain uh, mediums, certain resistors. Okay, so uh, in essence, if you want to make a sound using audio, all you have to do is right connect and make a circuit. I'm gonna send a signal right here, and now all I have to do is by using an alligator clip to connect. Let me use three connect the plus and minus side of the speaker right and then basically complete the circuit if I touch this you're gonna hear a little pop whenever the electricity goes into the speaker the speaker pops up and then that's the, that's the, the push of the air that you are hearing right here whenever we are completing a circuit or create a connection then you hear a sound now uh, you may not see that well in the screen so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just put a little rice on here so that when it pops it moves it does a kind of proof that there's a pop of air coming in right so there's your click so that's basically what's going on whenever you create a sound using electronics, right? There's a change in current, and then that current is reflected to the movement of the speaker. Now, with that in mind, we can try to hack the system, right? So in Nicholas Collins's Handmade Electronic Music, it's an amazing book, you should all read it, um, tells you an experiment, experiment you can do. So now we know that when we connect a circuit, it will pop the physical surface of the speaker, and then that's what you're hearing. So we can create a uh, some kind of like a little acoustic or a kinetic feedback, actually uh, a feedback of movement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a connection, but using a uh, uh, two wires. Okay. But what I can do here is I can put the wire on top of the speaker, touch it, and then touch another end of the uh, uh, circuit here. Now, what's going to happen is that when I touch this speaker, when I touch the another wire, then my speaker will pop up and basically push up my wire, and then it's going to make another connection, goes down bounce it back because of the uh, popular speaker and goes down so you can basically uh, the, my speaker will create a little tambourine a tampoline to bounce back my another wire so I can create a some kind of buzz without even creating any uh, putting any synthesizer because of the kinetic feedback I can make oh there you go I have to be very careful about here. Oh, okay, let's put more uh, rice in here so you can see it. Okay, so a little bit more rice here. And then, oh, oh. Let's put 
put a little bit more, right? So here is a one way to create an audio without any source. You are basically the source is battery. There's a little, you know, a uh, 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 current, but because you can create a fluctuation on the speakers and make a, basically a bounce up and down movement with the little uh, wire, we can create a sound. Whoa. And I can apply different pressures on my hand to create a different kind of frequencies. Right, so. Another way to kind of have a fun with this kind of system is to have a conductive surface with a uh, uneven, uneven, uh, uneven surface. So here I can complete my circuit by putting these two on the uh, nickel, I mean penny. But now I can spread this around to create all sorts of different kind of sounds. Here's a quarter. And also here is a, a little aluminum surface that I intentionally create a little wrinkle and I can basically scan the landscape of the aluminum and it reflects as the fluctuation in sound. Like that. Okay, so essence of audio, right? You make a circuit, speaker pops up, or moves in a, in a, according to the voltage, but uh, because that presses the air and it reaches the uh, our ear as a sound, we can uh, create a kind of this noise that I'm not supposed to, right? I'm not supposed to make this kind of circuit uh, uh, in a music but I can still create a sound and perhaps we can use our musical ear to find a, a something beautiful out of this little instrument. Oh, okay. Alright, thank you and I see you in the next video.